Hi, welcome back to step three of learning how to do this by yourself, making your digital planner. We left off completing the tabs. Now I'm going to teach you how to um, get the tabs working, link them up. So first you have 12 months here on the side, the right hand side. So what you're going to want to do is go over here on the side and you're going to want to complete or create 12 additional pages from the first one down. So the first one's not going to count in your 12 months. So you're going to want 13 pages here on the side all together. So I already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, technically need thirteen. Oh no, I, w I counted so wrong. Phew, don't follow me. Um, okay, so we have thirteen total because you're not going to count this page, but this is going to be your working page. So, as you can see, everything is still grouped on this, so I'm going to select all, unlock, go up here to the paintbrush, and where you see ungroup, make sure everything is ungrouped. You might have to do it a couple of times. I don't know why. Okay, now everything is ungrouped. So, um, we're going to start on this first tab. I'm going to click it and then right there you see link, hit link, link settings, link to slide. So this is going to be January and it's going to be linked to pick the second slide. And you know it's linked when you see that arrow. And at any time you can click on that arrow, go back in and make sure it's linked correctly. So that's two. This one will be three, four, oops, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, Thirteen. So all my pages are now linked. All these pages anyways on the right hand side. And like I said you can click on those arrows at any time to double check them and make sure they're linked. Um, you can change them at any time by also clicking on that link. Now these, pay, these ones on the side, the three on the side, are going to be like the additional pages, like if you wanted to do a contact list, passwords. So I'm going to go ahead and create three extra ones below the 13th page. Go back up. I'm going to link this one to the 14th one. Fifteen. And then 16. Okay, everything is now linked. So, in this video, I'm also going to include how to make your labels for these tabs. Um, just because I watched a video that didn't include that step. I got all the way through and realized none of mine had tabs or had labels on them. 
I had to go back and redo every page. So we're going to get that step. So I'm going to select all, go to the paintbrush. I'm going to first lock it. Now if you notice, the blue dots are still there, or the blue arrows. I'm going to go back, shoot. So you don't want to lock first. First you want to group. That makes them go away. Then I'm going to lock. That way when I'm editing this page, nothing moves. And don't worry, when you unlock it and ungroup it, your links will reappear again. And you won't have to relabel them. So I'm going to, and keep in mind, the way I'm doing it now is my way. There could be other ways. There could be easier ways. I don't know. This is just how I learned by playing with this app. So now you're going to go to the plus sign, the shapes, text. For some reason, it always appears in the middle. I'm moving it. And let's see, let's go choose our font first. I'm just going to use a basic one. I'm going to take, I don't particularly care for bold fonts. You can do whatever. Um, I'm going to set it at 25. I think that might be the right size. So I can't fit the whole month on there. So the tab is pretty small. Now, you're going to want to turn it. So you grab one side, grab the other. Whoops and you just turn it. You might have to play with it for a little bit, but it takes two fingers to do it, at least the only way I've learned how to do it. <clears throat> and then you're gonna make it small like that. Boom, January. So I copy that so that I don't have to turn again. Paste, double click, do my next month. Paste. Now these might not be perfectly even, you know, I'm just trying to get the video done. I mean, you get the idea. Um, oh, that's why it's too big. Duh. Sometimes you get in a zone and you don't pay attention to what you're doing. Ooh, I don't like how that P is dropping down. Ooh, I don't like that either. P is going to stay that way. So, um, and you can do it differently where you put six tabs on one side, six tabs on the other, so that maybe you do have enough room to write the whole month. Um, that's user preference. I've seen so many planners, so many different ways. Um, for the sake of this video, this is how I'm doing it. But if you see um, my video or my planners, you see that I always do different layouts different ideas um, but you just keep doing this over and over um, I better go ahead and show you the other side too so in order to do the other side I stretch it a little bit so I have room for my fingers just wanna turn it that way and let's say I wanna do um, health Hmm, that fit just right, but if you, you know, say that didn't fit, you could just double click it, go in, and change the size so that it does fit. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's how you're going to do the tab dates. Um, pretty easy. So, next video will be step four, and I will show you how to start up your monthly layouts. Um, it's just an idea, show you how the app works, all that good stuff. So catch you back after that.